You see, they're trying to open schools without a vaccine, and we're like, forget you. I guess us work in spring break just wasn't enough. We're like, forget you. Where's our budget to? We teach the country and we need some money. The Heroes Act. And although there's pain in our chest, we're still doing our best with the forget you. Hello, fellow fellows and fellow educators. This is Diamond Emerald Skinner bringing you another daily gem. God, good vibes, education, and motivation. Step one, stay encouraged. You almost made it through. Hang in there. Step two, there is a town hall, and I want to report to you something significant that our president said. In terms of returning in the fall, there are three options. He said option one is that there's a vaccine ready before September. There's a vaccine ready before September. The theory is we can go back to school like normal because there's a vaccine. Option two, remain in remote learning. This is more real than people acknowledge. Unless we get the HEROES Act passed, I don't think we can open safely. Every state is looking at massive budget cuts. You can't open with less teachers. Or option three, we open with the HEROES Act passed and we put in all the safety procedures and social distancing. The child care issue is a real issue that's on our minds at all times. The child care issue being, if I'm a teacher who has children who are school aged or even not school aged, right? If I'm going to work, what's going on with my children? If it's a blended schedule, if I have to go to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and my children have to go to school on um, Thursday and Friday, right, or Monday, so same, those opposite days, like what, what are we doing? What's happening with our kids if they're not in our care? What's happening with child care? People want to start the economy so they can get back to work, but we also can't get back to work um, because of our lives and the constraints that are put onto us. So I would love for you just to point in the comments, do you think blended learning should work? Do you think only remote learning would work? What are you thinking? I know at my school, a lot of, I've heard some voices recently that we just need to go remote. We just got good at doing this online thing. Let's stick to that and make it work until we can fully come back together. They're also surveying parents. They're surveying um, parents and uh, principals, administrators. They're not necessarily surveying us, but we have to get this Heroes, Path, Heroes Act passed. We have to get the Heroes Act passed. Tell your friends in other states. Other states think this may not be an issue. It's an issue. Don't let them confuse you. Don't let them make it seem like this COVID is over or this issue is over. We are in the mire. We're in the eye of the storm here. We need to advocate for each other and we need the people in other states to advocate for us as well because we're all advocating for the same thing. If you think your budget's not going to be cut in your state, you're wrong, right? We all have to make choices and we all have to engage and get this Heroes Act Pass. It doesn't just support teachers, it supports other civil servants as well. But if Wall Street got a bailout, why can't the kids in the United States of America get a bailout? That's the messaging of our President Mulgrew, and I agree with that 100%. Let's get the Heroes Act passed. Fear not and shine bright. Have a wonderful day, fellow teachers.